Book of Lamentations, which is believed to be written by Jeremiah, and it makes sense that Jeremiah wrote it. The prophet is crying over the city that has been burnt down to the ground. He's crying over the people that are distraught and been taken off into slavery and some starved to death and, 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 and just all kinds of atrocities that nobody ever imagined would happen. But God had already said would happen when they disobeyed him. Now the problem with the problem with us, not so much the problem with God, but the problem we have with God is that God oftentimes delays in punishing us for our disobedience. Amen. Come on. And in the delay, we, 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 we misinterpret it. In the delay, we assume that God must be blind. Or God must be impotent. Or God must not care. And God is going to allow it to go on for so long. That's right. We misconstrue the patience of God. Yep. Amen. And the mercy of God with an approval. Yes. Come on. Yes. And we assume that while we're doing it and getting away with it, we might as well keep on doing it because we're getting away with it. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Little do we recognize that all good things must come to an end. <laughs> Amen. Is that right? That the pleasures of sin are only for a season. Yes. It's pleasurable, but it's only for a season. Yes. There's seasons to sin, you know. That's right. Sin, sin has seasons. Yes. Praise That's right. God. That's right. I heard That's right. preacher say this not long ago. I said he got it exactly right. Spring is when sin entices you. Mm -hmm. Summer is when sin is full blown. Mm -hmm. It's in bloom, rather. And you're enjoying it to the max. Mm -hmm. Oh, you start to realize that something ain't quite right. 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 It, it ain't quite giving you the same joy it used to give you. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But before you know it, winter is upon you. Yes. And the Bible says that when sin is full grown. Yes. Uh -huh. When sin is full grown, the book of James talks about sin being full grown. Mm -hmm. Then it devours you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is what it wanted to do in the beginning. Yes. It was crouching at the door, waiting to take you. Yes. And you let it in. Right. Amen. And then you fed it. Fed it. And then the monster grew. Yes. And devoured you. Yes. yes. See, did y'all see him all? Yes. Yes. It started out with a little drop of blood. Before he knew it, he had to feed the big bodies. Yes. That's right. That's how sin is going to do you. That's right. Feed it. Is that right? Yes. And when you got nothing left to feed it, it will devour you. It devours yes. you. That's right. But it's a slow process. It goes through seasons and, and it will catch you like, like frogs in a boiling pot. Yeah. You're dead before you know it. Yes. Slowly increase the temperature. Slowly. That's right. They'll never jump out. Yes, right. They'll just sit there. Yep. And sit there. Come on. Uh -huh. And get comfortable. Uh -huh. And before they know it, they're born. Yes. That's right. Come on. And so God has given you some things to help you check yourself. Yes. Yes. Come on. Thank you, Lord. He's given you some emotions to help you check yourself. Yes. He gives you circumstances to give you some feedback in life. Yes. To let you know this might not be what you want. Right. Right. He gives you examples in life to see other people go down the same road you're going down and experience some things that that you really don't want to experience. That's right. To give you a foreshadowing of what's to come for you. Amen. If you don't get it right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And that's exactly what God did for the people of Judah. Before they went into captivity, he let them see their sister go into captivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Before they got destroyed, he let them see the kingdom of Israel be destroyed. Yes. Carried off by the Assyrians into captivity and all the damage that that caused. And yet they thought it could not happen to them. Wow. And sometimes we are so deceived. Amen. That's right. And we do the same thing that God judged people in the Bible for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. And we act like judgment couldn't happen to us. That's right. Amen. Amen. We act like, yeah, uh, 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 he got AIDS, but I can run around and not get AIDS. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. She got addicted, but I can try it and not get addicted. Right. That's right. Come on. Everybody else got me on a budget, but I don't have to budget my finances. I'll That's be all right. 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 All the rules 
supply to everybody but us. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because we ate up delusion. Mm -hmm. And until you realize that your heart is deceitful. Yes. I'm going to say that again. No. Well, God know my heart. Mm -hmm. he, you know how many times I've heard? He, he know I'm a good person. He, he know I'm my heart. <laughs> and the assumption is that their heart is good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But my Bible tells me that their heart deceives them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. How many of y'all know you're sleeping with the enemy? Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. When you lay down at night, there's something in you that is against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you get up in the morning, there's something in you that is against you. Amen. Huh? As you go throughout your day, there's something in you that wants to sabotage your success. Right. Amen. That's and it's right. a part of you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And until you grow up, grow up and realize that there's something in you. That's right. That even when you get right, still ain't right. right. Uh -huh. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. I say even when you get right, it still ain't right. Yes. And it's still there. Mm -hmm. Waiting to sabotage your success. Amen. It don't go nowhere. Come on. You will not be fully delivered from that until you die. Amen. Yes. It's called your sin nature. Yes. And it's insidious. Yes, it is. It's deceitful. Yes. It's yes. slick. Yes. It's slimy. Yes. It's a son of a gun. <laughs> you hear me? That's right. Come on. And, and it's part of you. Oh, yes. Amen. No matter where you go, you can't get rid of it. Amen. That's right. It's still there. It's still there. Right. That's it. All you can do is suppress it. Yes. Amen. And keep it under. Yes. Come on now, when I was a baby Christian, they told me everything was new. They didn't tell me there was still a part of you. Uh -huh. Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. That's right. They don't go nowhere. And I thought I wasn't saved. Because I kept sinning. Uh -huh. I thought I wasn't saved because I, 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 I didn't know how to handle it. Right. But I had bad theology. Uh -huh. And the bad theology got a hold of me. And it caused me to behave in ways, huh? Mm -hmm. That didn't acknowledge the truth. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Look, every parent know that sooner or later, something gonna happen. You're gonna be surprised by what your children do. Yes, that's right. right. Yeah. That's why you're careful not to say what your children will and will not do. Yeah. Because yeah. sooner or later, they gonna sooner surprise you. Yeah. And you're gonna be like, oh my. Exactly. You just didn't see it. Come on. Or didn't want to acknowledge it. Come on. Yes. Amen. Come on. Come on, I'm trying to yes. Come on. Amen. Until you deal with the see there's an inner me. Inner me. Y'all ever heard that one? There's an inner me. Enemy. There's an enemy inside of me. Amen. That's right. The Bible Amen. says you got three enemies. Uh-huh. And the problem is, most saints act like they're friends with the enemies. That's right. The world, mm -hmm. we get ate up with the world. Amen. We, right. we love the world. That's right. Man, you can tell a worldly Christian from a mile come away. On. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, mother. Come on. I mean, and, and some of y'all fire because you don't even know you worldly Christian. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. A worldly Christian, let me go ahead and help you out here. A worldly Christian is a Christian that believe in Jesus but still live like and, and operate on the principles of, of the world. world. Amen. 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 Right. So if they were tricking in the world, they in church on Sunday, but they still tricking. Yeah. Okay. If they if they were pitiful, let me let me let me give you an example of trick. Okay. If they were pitiful 
and they got lots of attention from being pitiful in the world. That's right. Um, That's right. Sometimes yeah, okay. they come up in the church, That's right. and you wonder the why they're so pitiful. Right. Mm -hmm. And you preaching this powerful word, and they should be powerful by now. Right. But they're still pitiful mm -hmm. because they don't want to be powerful because they get too much attention it's from true. being pitiful. Yes. That's the trick. Yes. Yes. I get more attention being more pitiful, pitiful right, yeah. than I do being powerful, yeah. so I'm going to stay pitiful, pitiful so I can get some attention. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. Come on, now. Yes. Hello. Yes. And they really ain't fooling nobody except those who don't know. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 But those of us who know, they ain't fooling nobody. Yes. <laughs> huh? I get pitiful. Come on. You just want to blame somebody. Right. Amen. So oh, that's right. Amen. God did not drive you. God didn't make you irresponsible. Yes. You're too powerful for that. Right. That's why he holds you responsible. Yes. Because you're too powerful to let you slide. Amen. Amen. Huh? You're too powerful to let you. You're too smart. You're too equipped. You're too creative. You're too much like him. Right. He can't let you slide. That's right. Amen. To let you slide would be to assume that you were in inadequate in some way. That's right. For God to hold you accountable shows you great respect. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Amen. For God to hold you accountable shows you great respect. Amen. Yeah. Thank Amen. you, Lord. I'm going to say that again. For God to hold you accountable shows you great respect. Amen. Because you don't hold nobody accountable who's who's incompetent. You won't, we won't even let them stand stand on the on the on the on the what you call it the seat where you give witness testimony on the testimony seat. Amen. On the stand. That's what we're saying. Stand. We won't even let them stand on the stand and give a testimony if they're incompetent. Amen. Right. We excuse them for crimes if, if they're insane. Mm -hmm. right? right? If you have something so messed up about you that we don't hold you accountable, right. that's not good. Amen. And if you keep going back to God talking about you don't want to be held accountable and blaming other folk for everything. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> God is losing respect for you. Right. <laughs> God is losing respect. He can't trust you. He can't give you no, no assignment. He can't give you no real responsibility because you keep making yourself disrespectful. Y'all wonder how God works or not? Come on now. Y'all yeah. yeah. just want me to be. No. Come on, come on. He's my fairy tale. No, no, no. Huh? This is how it works now. This is how it works. That's why God took his precious city, Jerusalem, and destroyed it. Took the, took, the, took the temple that Solomon had built that he filled with his glory. Yeah. And brought it to the moon. Didn't leave one brick left upon the level. Why? He said, because they disrespected my temple. Right. And I respect them enough to hold them accountable. Yes. See, if you can get saints to quit being superstitious and take responsibility, mm -hmm. this world will be turned upside down. Mm -hmm. If I can just get the saints, just the saints in here to take responsibility, to believe that God through them is able. <laughs> Too many saints just want to cry. That's right. It's okay to cry. Lamentation is a book all about crying. That's what a lament is. It's a cry. It's a wail. It's a boo hoo. What was me? And there's a time for that. There's a time to rejoice and there's a time to refrain from rejoicing. There's a time to weep. Yes. That's right. Amen. And when you weep, you got to give full expression to you. Amen. He spent five chapters in poetic fashion. There are five poems there, actually. He even used acrostics to express in an orderly fashion his dismay and, 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 and emotion over what he was experiencing. He took time to weep and mourn. Some of y'all ain't took time to mourn. That's why you're still struggling with some stuff. Amen. 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 Moses died, they took, what, 30 days? I believe it was just yes. to mourn. Yes. Uh -huh. Some of y'all need to mourn that relationship. Come on. That's right. Amen. That God broke up for you. Amen. 
Yes. Some of y'all need to just go ahead and mourn that loss, Amen. bury it, and go on. Yes. Right. See, some of y'all still living with ghosts. Amen. Oh, yeah. I didn't even need to go here, but some folks still living with ghosts. Yeah. Because you won't mourn appropriately. Yes. You won't put it to rest. Thank you. Come on, man. Some of y'all still living with the hurts and the people that went on. Some of them ain't even around no more. Yes. And you still carrying that thing. Yes. Good God. Oh, You're living with ghosts, baby. Yes. Get, let's exercise the ghost today. That's right. Yes. Just go ahead and weep and mourn. Yeah. Go ahead and tell the Lord how you really feel. It's all right. He can no. take it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You don't need no psychologist. You don't need no shoulder lead on. You got Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The best therapy you have is going to the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. 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 Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Trust That's right. The problem is we never take it there. Yes, uh, yes. Right. We don't really unload it while we're there. Yeah. And then we don't leave it there. That's we take right. it there, let a little bit slide off, and then we hobble, hobble off uh -huh. with it still on our back. Uh -huh. And wonder why we can't walk upright. Yes. How you gonna walk upright with all that in your back? Yes, amen. <laughs> How you gonna live right with integrity and do right and take responsibility with all that on your back? Yes. Amen. The Bible used the word uprightness for a reason. Mm -hmm. Huh? God made man to walk upright. Yes. Oh, amen. <laughs> See, when you when you understand the beauty of God, he, he weaves his word into everything. Even the fact that we are bipeds and we walk upright. Mm -hmm. Huh? That tells you something. Mm -hmm. Amen. That tells you something about the image. We don't walk bent over. We don't walk on all fours. We walk the right way. Amen. Rightness mm. is important to your humanity. Yes. Yes. That's why you feel less than yourself when you're guilty, when you're condemned, mm. when you know you're wrong. Wow. Huh? You feel less than yourself because it's hard to walk upright when you don't forgive. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Amen. That's right. Wow. You gotta forgive to walk up rightly because otherwise it weighs you down. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. I don't know who needs that, but God bless you. Mm. See, this this is a this is not just a, a, a normal church. This is a, a recovery center. We have therapy mm -hmm. sessions. We learn and we That's praise right. God when we have some therapists. That's, That's right. right. And, and if you don't understand that, then you won't walk away with the healing that That's you That's right. Yes. That's right. That was healing for somebody. That's, That's right. right. Thank you. You got to recognize it. Yes. You got to recognize it. That's right. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All right. The title of today's message is Obedience. Mm -hmm. And I told you. Like I know better than him. I told the Lord. <laughs> I said, they think they already know everything about obedience, Lord. Well, I'm going to teach this again. He said, that's why you need to teach it. <laughs> because they think they know. Amen. Obedience. Subtitle. The key to bless yourself. The key to bless yourself. Everybody looking for God to bless them. And that is a, a part of the puzzle. But the other part is that you have to learn to bless yourself. Amen. Huh? Now, I'm not talking about the way the world says, oh, God help those who help themselves. I ain't saying it like that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that everything you do with God is going to be a dance. Mm -hmm. You're going to do your part, he's going to do this part. That's right. That's and right. God can have blessing for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you will never experience until you learn to bless yourself. There you go. Amen. Who memorized that chapter out of Joshua 1 8? Joshua 1 8. Just turn there with me since the guy doesn't memorize. Turn it with me. You gotta be faster than that. Joshua 1 8. <laughs> Joshua 1 8. Come on, Joshua 1 8. Somebody stand up and read it to me. 
Come on, somebody stand up and read Joshua 1 8. Uh, no. Anybody stand up and read it. Do not, oh, okay. Okay, baby. Stand up and read it. Okay. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Uh -huh. Meditate on it. Meditate on it day and night, yes. so that you may be careful to do mm -hmm. everything written in it. Mm -hmm. Then you will be prosperous uh -huh. and successful. Okay. Now, somebody give me King James. I'll do it. Let's book it. Oh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Who's going to make their way prosperous? I, uh, you. you. Let's you. back up. Read the first part again. This, this book, book of the law, the law shall not, shall not the power of whose mouth? Thy. Okay, hold on. Where's the responsibility here? Oh, I'm not, I'm not. Not. So this book that has blessing for you by itself does not bless you. That's right. It's hard. Only when this book gets in your mouth. Amen. You got the book on the shelf. Yes. You got the book in the car. Amen. You got the book collecting dust. Yes. yes. But the book can't bless them like that. Yes. yes. The book cannot bless you until that book gets in your mouth. Woo! Yeah. Do y'all see this? Yes. This book of the law, a book that's full of blessing. That's Everything God got for you is in that book. Amen. I am who it says I am. I can have what it says I can have. God says you can have stuff that you don't even know you got. That's right. Huh? Because you ain't read the book. Yes. The book is your, your title deed. The book is your, your, your will that's being read after the death of your Savior that tells you what you're, you're entitled to as an inheritance. Yes. That's what the book is. But until it gets in your mouth, Until it gets in your mouth, they can't bless you. Amen. 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 Come on. That's right. Let me explain to you how blessing works. I could bless you, but until you receive the blessing, you ain't blessed. Yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because when I bless you, there's going to become, there's going to come upon you opponents to the blessing. Circumstances, spirits, thoughts, imaginations that go contrary to what the blessing said. That's right. And unless you learn to war with the prophecies that are spoken over you, you have to fight with the word that was spoken over with the blessing. Okay? Until you learn to fight with the blessing, the devil will snatch from you. What was meant to bless you. Amen. Amen. Don't let the devil eat your lunch. That's right. Don't let the devil eat. It's like a parent giving you lunch money. You walk down the street and you let somebody bully you that ain't even bigger than you. That's right. Money. Let somebody bully you who ain't as powerful than you, but because you scared to fight, mm -hmm. you let them take what your parents gave you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And don't even open your mouth. Wow. Is that right? Yes. I'm help you today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. If you will open your mouth That's right. and say what God said, yes. it will get the bully off of you. Amen. And you can then enjoy what God gave you. Amen. Amen. If you don't open your mouth, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. If you don't open your mouth and say what God said about you, and you keep your mouth shut, then the bully don't take from you what God meant for you. That's yes. right. That's right. Amen. The devil is a bully. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And there's only one way to get that bully up off of you. That's right. Huh? Yes. Look, when he came to bully Jesus. Jesus didn't use no magical powers. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
There's power in the name of Jesus, but yes, Jesus didn't even call on Jesus. No, he didn't. He just... <laughs> Jesus spoke the word. Yes, he did. Yes. The word. The word. Yes, he did. Yes. Fire. And he got the devil up off of him. Yes, hallelujah. Now, if it's good enough for Jesus, What you been using? What's in your wallet? What you been saying? You see, the temptation is to say what the devil said. He come and beat you in your head and say, you ain't no good. It's like domestic violence. Right? There's a psychological aspect to it. Huh? Man beat on a woman and tell her she can't do no better. Come on, that's right. And that she deserved it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And before you know it, she's convinced of that's it. Right. That's, that's right. right. She can't do no yeah. And won't go nowhere. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. Won't get no help. Nope. Yeah. Won't say nothing to nobody. Exactly. And right. definitely won't say nothing to him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But if she would just open her mouth. Open her mouth. Like, mm -hmm. There's some help out there for her. If yeah. she would just open her mouth, yeah. police would come knocking at the door. Right. If she would just open her mouth, somebody stronger that's right. would show up that's right. who's stronger than the one that's stronger than her. That's right. That's right. Woo! That's why I watch them crazy scary movies. Yeah. Because they make you scared of the devil. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because the devil is stronger than you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But he ain't stronger than the one that's stronger than you. That's right. Look, this, no. this comes from wrestling with the devil. This comes yeah. from being scared and intimidated by poltergeists. This comes yeah. from spirits trying to, to get on me and keep me from praying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, yeah. this comes from being scared to be in my own house That's and the devil yeah. creeping through the windows oh, and all yeah. that. And, and this, this comes from overcoming that. Yeah. That's right. This That's ain't right. no theory, y'all. That's right. Do you That's hear right. what I'm telling you? Yes. And I don't care what kind of devil it is, you deal with them the same way. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but you have to take responsibility. Yes. Look, God didn't deliver me the way I thought he was going to deliver me. Come on, that's right. From the challenges I was facing. Yeah. You see, if you ain't careful, you get used to the way God deal with you in the beginning. Yes. And not realize that he don't want to deal with you like that always. Always, yes. Amen. That's Come on, Jesus. When they came up out of Egypt, God did all the fighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they got in the promised land, God said, take up your arms. Yes. That's right. And when they crossed over Jordan, they did all the fighting, and God was with them. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Do you see that? That's yes. Amen. One day, you're going to have to believe that the God in you right. is able through you to fight for you. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. Wow. That's right. wow. yes. At some point, that's you're right. going to have to stand up. Man, I didn't mean for this to be no deliverance, but, but that's what. You see, here's the problem with the traditional deliverance service. You go up, you get prayed for. Somebody lay hands on you, cast out the devil. And the devil come out. Seriously. The devil come out. Yes, the, devil. <laughs> the devil, the devil go out. But then you don't know what to do. That's yeah, right. And when the devil come back to challenge you, see we come back, huh? And overtakes you again. Again, that's You right. thought you wasn't delivered to begin with. The yes. devil is a lie. Yes, you were. Yes. 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 You just didn't exactly. know what to do in the next phase of life. Yes. Mm. That's good. That's good. You got delivered. You got out of Egypt. You didn't know how to go into the promised land. That's, that's right. right. Amen. 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 You understand? That's it. That's you got to learn how to go into the promised land. And to go into the promised land, God's promise is predicated upon you taking some responsibility. Yes. That's right. That's Amen. Amen. You got to walk into the promise. You can't sit still. You can't sit still and, and wait for God to bring it to you. You got to walk into it. 
Amen. Amen. You got to walk into it. Walk into it. Into it. Mm -hmm. Do you hear? You got that's why serving is the secret to success, like yes. we preached on last week. Yes. That, that, that's walking into your purpose. Amen. Yes. That's right. Yes. You can't sit and wait and purpose show up. It don't work like that. Amen. You gotta walk into it. Even when Jesus called folk, they had to follow him. Mm -hmm. right. They yeah. had to follow. Yes. You don't. You purpose just don't come with you sitting down. Yes, amen. Right. Waiting yes. on it to happen. Yes. You yes. have to walk in. And while you're walking, you might stumble a little bit, but keep walking. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Yes. You don't know, make you think you ain't supposed to stumble while you're walking. You stumble while you're walking now. You can walk through the mall on a flat surface and trip up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anybody ever did that? Yeah, yeah. And then you look around one day. And there was nothing there. That's right. Is that right? Yes. So what made you think your spiritual walk going to be without some trip-ups? That's right. That's right. You're going to have some trip-ups. Huh? But keep walking. I mean, Keep walking. So you can get there. Yes. This book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth, and this may be all I get from you today. But thou shalt, what, what's the law? But who shall? I shall. You shall do what? Meditate. Meditate. So you got to keep it on your mind. Yeah. Day and night. God's already mindful of you. He's already decided to bless you. But you have to keep that on your mind so it can be attracted to you and yeah. you can start to do what you need to do Amen. to have it. Amen. Yes. Come Amen. On. Your mind is a magnet. Amen. It attracts certain. That's right. Amen. That's why you want to be careful what's on your mind because whatever's on your mind is what you will attract. Yes. yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, see, that law of attraction got some truth to it. Yes. But it's witchcraft. Amen. Because they, they, they leave God out. Yes. Come on, that's right. Amen. There's some truth to it, but they leave God yes. out, which makes it witchcraft. Whenever you try to have what you want, while excluding what God wants, right. you're right. operating in witchcraft. Yes, that's right. Amen. That's right. That's why witchcraft even happened in the church, don't we? Amen. That's right. Because folks try to prostitute what God gave in that's order to right. get what they want. That's, that's right. right. Yes. That's right. And you're, Amen. And you operate in, But that don't mean that the principle ain't right. Amen. The principle is right. Yeah. They just ain't using it right. That's Come right. On. That's right. Anytime you leave something out, it ain't right. That's right. right. Amen. Especially when you leave God. Amen. That's, Amen. What's, that's what's wrong with some of y'all relationships right now. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on. That's you want right. to get a man, you want to get a woman, and you left God out when you was picking them. Yes. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got you one or two amens. Amen. 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 All right. This book of the law shall not depart thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in it day and night. What does it say after that? That thou may have good success. That thou mayest observe to, to do. So, so okay, look now. It got to be in your mouth. You got to meditate on it, right? Then you got to observe to do it. Three things you got to do. Before the word of God start to take effect for you. Right. Do you see that? It says, it got to be in your mouth, you got to meditate on it, then you got to observe and do it. Do it. If you don't do those three things, don't expect the word to work for you. Amen. Amen. If you don't do those three things, don't expect the word to work for you. You are Amen. a hearer and not a doer. Yes. Amen. Amen. It has to be in your mouth. It has to be on your mind. And then you got to do it. Do you hear me? I didn't even expect to teach none of this, but somebody needed it. It has to be in your mouth, on your mind, and you got to do it. Until that, those three things are in place. God has already, the blessing is already out there. It just can't be applied to you because you hadn't qualified yet. Yes. Those are the three boxes you got to check to qualify for what God is trying to give you. Amen. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Amen. Amen. Has to be in your mouth, has to be on your mind, and then you got to turn around and do it. Yes. Do it. Amen. 
has to be in your mouth, has to be on your mind, and then you got to turn around and do it. Now, most people ain't got no problem with having it on their mind mm -hmm. every now and again. Yeah. But this didn't say every now and again, did it? No. no. It said day and, day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Now, my wife sometimes is baffled by how I can be writing a sermon while we're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. Because I've trained myself to meditate on this word day and night. It started with no cards. I used to get a little index card and write scriptures on it. Mm -hmm. And I would pull it out and memorize it. 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 Until I had the whole thing memorized. And then I repeated to myself while I was at work. Mm -hmm. Then I would get another one and write it down. I could do the same thing. Before I knew it, it was in my mouth and it was in my mind. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Then I started acting upon it. That's the scary part. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to have it in your mouth and in your mind to talk a good game, yes. right? To say that you're thinking different. But then to act different, right. mm -hmm. that's, that's right. a whole nother level. That's right. But you know, I didn't really see the blessings until I put them all together. Yeah. You see a little blessing with it coming out your mouth. That's right. You see a little more blessing with it being on your mind. You start to be free from some anxieties. Mm -hmm. Depression don't seize you like it used to. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Because it breaks up all those strongholds. Mm -hmm. You see, this is just some ad hoc teaching. This ain't even in my notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I have mercy. But somebody needs it. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs it. God's having mercy on you because you don't come to Bible study. This kind of stuff you get in Bible study. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. I ought not have to do this, but the Lord has mercy on somebody want them to learn how to walk. Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. You got to have it in your mouth, you got to have it in your mind, then you got to turn around and do it before God does anything. Mm -hmm. it's, matter of fact, I, I, I need to take that back. I need to describe it right. Before it's activated. Because it's already there. God already did what he's going to do. Let me explain something. A lot of stuff that you're praying for God to do, he's already done. That's right. True. I know that's mind blowing because you don't see it manifested that's yet, right. That's right. but it's already there. Already done. That's right. Electricity was already there. That's right. We just didn't know how to harness it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Huh? Soul power was already there. Already there. We just didn't know how to harness it. Yeah. Wind power, hydro power, it was all already there. That's right. Yeah. Man didn't create nothing. Yeah. All we do is 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 reconfigure stuff. To make it work and make it do what was already there. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. We ain't, we ain't create nothing. That's right. All we did was reconfigure stuff. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then something came out of it when we reconfigured it. We're like, whoa, look at what this does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's what science is. Science is discovering what properties things have. That's mm -hmm. right. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. And once you understand the properties, you mix those properties with some other properties to get a certain result. Amen. That's right. Yeah. 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 And so what you gotta do is you've got to understand that everything is already there. It is. That's the Bible says it like this. Let me just give you the scripture. He hath blessed us. H A T H. That means past tense. Had he already did. Right. That's he right. done did it. That's as we right. say down here. <laughs> he done did it. He done did it. H A T that's old that's old English. Yeah. King James Version. He hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Yes. So the blessings are already there. Amen. He don't have to create them. No. He don't have to, to, to Jimmy rig them. That's right. Huh? He don't have to, to do any of that. It's already there. The problem is you ain't. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's, right. that's right. You ain't there. You ain't seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In your spirit. Yes. That's right. You still walk around here being worldly. Yes. But if you would get heavenly, yes. you can have what heaven got for you. For then, not before, that's right. but then, yeah. 
Yeah. And I, I'm going to add, this is the only time I'm going to add, and only then. And only then. Because he ain't saying it's going to happen no other way. Yes. But then, yes. you shall make mm -hmm. your way prosperous. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Say what? Mm -hmm. You mean I'm praying for God to bless me? And God is saying, bless yourself? Amen. Yeah. That's right. You mean I'm, I'm waiting for God to, to, to come and serve me? And God saying, go ahead and help yourself? Amen. Y'all don't hear me? Yeah. You're at a big feast and you sit they're drooling, waiting for somebody. Waiting for somebody to come and serve it up. Right. And God saying, "Help yourself." Yes. 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 God says, "Bless yourself." Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Bless yourself. He just put his hand on his head. That's right. Bless Speak yourself. the word over yourself. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hope on it in your mind. Yeah. You see, the problem with your worry is that it's misplaced faith. Yes. That's what it is. There's places, and I taught this a long That's time ago. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, a, there's levels of faith. That's it. Is. The lowest level of faith is, is, is unbelief. Uh -huh. The next level is fear. Yeah. Fear is a level of faith. The problem with fear is that the faith is misplaced. That's yes. right. Yes. You have faith for what you don't want when you fear. Right. Yes. That's right. Uh, amen. 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 Come on. That's why it usually happens if you worry about it long enough. Yeah. You have faith for it. Mm -hmm. You believe it to receive it. Amen. Yes. That's right. Even yes. though you don't want it. Right. That's right. How mixed up is that? Yes. That's right. That's schizophrenic, ain't it? Yes. Yes. That's why God said you, you can't be holy, you can't be whole. You can't be integral, you can't be a whole person when you operate like that. Yes. Right. See, what you gotta understand is psychologically you're, you're, you're made to be whole. Your, your component parts that's made to be whole. That's right. An uh, uh, integral system that works together. That's what integrity is about. That's right. Yes. That's why lying hurts you. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Yes, come on. Yes, I'm going too far. Lying hurts you. Yes, wow. Because lying messes you up on the inside. Because now you spoke something that your mind knows isn't true and the system isn't working right. The integrity. Yes. Yes. You can't walk up right That's because right. in your mind you know you ain't right because you said something That's that right. didn't line That's up. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now the system don't work right. Don't work right. Come on. You were designed for success. Right. To be a success, right. what you say has to go with what you believe. Yes. Yes. Right. And when you say something you don't believe, it messes you up. Yes. Yes. You're trying to put your car in the water. 
and hope that it flows. That's right. And you press the gas and it's spinning up water and you're like, why did this thing more move? Because it wasn't designed for that. That's right. That's right. Some of y'all in the wrong place. Come on. Trying to do the wrong thing. And you weren't designed. You weren't designed for that. Yes. Then when you experience what you think is rejection, all you know, all you you know, you don't realize that all God is doing is trying to put you in the right place yes. for what you was designed for to begin with. Amen. That's why rejection is a blessing. Yes. Rejection is a blessing because rejection allows you the opportunity to move to where you were supposed to be to begin with. That's right. Sometimes God allows you, make, a lot of times He allows you to make so many decisions, yeah. and that's the problem. We make the decisions, don't consult Him, right. and get into stuff that we ain't supposed to be in. Yeah. Yeah. Then when we get rejected, we think it's, 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 it's we take it personal. We get all hurt, and we and it, it deactivates us. Yeah. But God sends rejection. Uh -huh. God allows rejection yes. and use the rejection to get you where you're supposed That's to right. be. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Rejection will make you mm -hmm. instead of break you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Huh? That's right. See, when you don't preach to three people, and then your church swell up to about 50 people, and then swell back down to about 13 people, it don't bother you. That's right. Come on. Come on. Amen. That's right. Because rejection is a blessing, yes. and it makes you better. Yes. So that now where you got two people, you got 200 people, you preach for God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And not for the people yes. because you ain't moved because rejection has taught you a lesson. Yes. 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 Rejection has taught you a lesson not to not to be stunned, as my people say. I ain't stunned by them. Not be stunned by the people, right. but be focused on God. Yes, amen. 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 See, if you ain't careful, you get caught up mm -hmm. in the wrong thing. Yes. 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 yes, that's right. Paul. Thank God for rejection. Yes. 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 It's a blessing. Yes. So I can learn a lesson to get where I was supposed yes. to be. Amen. 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 This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate them day and night, and thou mayest observe and do all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way. This is one of the ones I memorized, by the way. That's why I can say it so quickly without it. <laughs> then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. He put an adjective on success to let you know whenever there's an adjective, that means that it could, it's describing it. Meaning that it could be described another way. And so if you can have good success, then it's a logical conclusion to deduce that you can have bad yes. success. That's right. Well, I thought all success was good. No, it ain't. Okay. All success ain't good. See, I didn't understand when I went over to Iraq. Uh, this sister told me one time, she said, all money ain't good money. Mm -hmm. I said, huh? <laughs> what? Money is good. What you talking about? No, she said, all money. Because what, what had happened was she was given an opportunity to take this promotion. And she declined. Yeah. And I'm wondering, I had to ask the sister, why you, why you ready to take that money, girl? And she said, oh, money. Ain't good, Ain't good money. Mm. And then after I seen what happened with the person that took it, I understood what she was talking about. That's right. That all money ain't good money. That's right. That's right. That's right. And all success That's ain't good success. That's right. And y'all are getting it back. Yes, amen. Wow. And so what you want to do is make sure that you're striving for good success. Good success. And, and the Bible says that you got to strive lawfully. You got to follow the rules. The whole thing that There's some rules in the book of Timothy that he talks about that you got to, if you're going to run a race, you got to run lawfully and you don't get crowned. Right. Right. When they find out that you was cheating, they're going to take it back. Right. That's right. Right. And that's the way God does. If, if, you, if you get it the right way, then it's yours. Amen. Right. Right. Come on, that's right. But if you don't get it the right, right way, right. you can't have it. If you just happen to get a hold on it, he's going to take it from you right, right. because you ain't get it the right, right. way. Yes, right. amen. amen. You got to strive lawfully. Lawful. You ought to be striving for success. You ought to be striving for success. 
Now, what is success, Pastor? It depends on what God has ordained for you. Now, for all saints, God has ordained in general the same things. But for you in particular, it's going to manifest in a particular way. And so success for you ain't going to look like success for me, even though it will all give God glory. Amen. 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 Does that make sense? Yes. Amen. Yes. It's all going to give God glory when we all do what God has defined as success for us. Yes. Now, the rules are the same for all of us. But the goal or the way it manifests itself may be different. Amen. Amen. Success for you might be... Uh, 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 Scoring two points with a basketball. Mm -hmm. Success for me might be scoring a goal with a soccer ball. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's right. It, he may put us in different contexts, but it's all uh, to his glory, Amen. and it all has to be played according to the rules. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's right. Okay? Amen. There are rules to the, to the, I don't want to call it the game, but to the life of salvation. Right. Yes. In order to be Amen. successful with your salvation, there's people who are saved who aren't successful with the salvation. Yes, Amen. that's right. That's right. Amen. They saved. That's right. But they ain't successful with it. That's yes. right. Amen. Do you hear me? Yeah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about backsliders. Right. I'm talking about folk who can't seem to get it right. Right. That's right. Caught up in besetting sins. I'm talking about folk who can't seem to grow, who never know what they're supposed to be doing with themselves. Right. I'm talking about folk who, who never know what their contribution to the kingdom is. Yes, I'm talking right. about folk who never who never uh, 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 realize that this is what I have to offer. Yes, yeah. yes. Amen. Who always bog down in some sin or in some fear or in some doubt, and they never rise to the occasion to start even playing the game that God wants them to play, much less win or score any goals. Yes, amen. amen. They save, but they ain't successful. Yes, amen. And the problem, part of the problem is. And some churches we've been taught that getting saved is all there is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Being born again is just a beginning. That's right. Uh -huh. That's why you need evangelists to get folk born again, but then you need pastors and apostles and prophets and uh, 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 what's the other teachers to help grow folk up. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. You need all of them. Uh -huh. All of them. To get you to where you need to be. That's Amen. Right. That's right. And the evangelist don't ever come to church. And he just work out there and evangelize all the time. He's insufficient. Yeah, exactly. He has a deficiency. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now some of y'all might not be old enough to understand, but a deficiency in your body can mess you up. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Get low on your magnesium. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get low on your potassium. Yes. yes. And you won't even be able to think straight. That's right. That's right. That's right. You won't know what day of the week it is. That's right. That's right. That's right. All because you're missing something. Amen. And you won't even realize what's happening. Yeah. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. And so you need all of it to come together. Come together. Now the main thing that you got to work on once you get saved is what? Who said? Somebody to pay attention. You. Why? Because you only want to work on what God is working on. Okay. Don't ever work on nothing God ain't working on. Amen. That's right. You're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. You want to work on what God is working on because God will fund what He what He's gonna finish. Right. You understand what I'm saying? He will support what He's working on. That's yes. right. Amen. So you don't want to get out there in the water by yourself and not have no support. Amen. Anybody ever been there? Yeah. Yeah. And then you're hollering out to God, and he got to reel you back in yeah. and get you back where he wanted you to begin with because you went off into some territory on your own. You went rogue. Yes. That's right. Yes. You're part of a kingdom. Amen. Amen. You, you can't afford to go rogue. Right. You go That's rogue, right. you get caught up by the other kingdom. That's yes. right. That's Amen. right. Come you on. see? There's some, yeah. there's some enemies at your gate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Waiting to take Wait you captive. Yes. That's right. Okay? And so the Bible says that he who began a good work in me, that's being born again. Yes. That's a good work that he began. Yes. 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 That's right. Shall complete it even until the day of Jesus Christ's return. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Okay. So now God is working on something he started in you. In you. Until he take you out of here. That's right. right. Amen. Now, the problem is, you ain't working on what God started right. Amen. Right. Amen. Until he take you out of here. Yeah. You steady telling God to do all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
You won't put his word in your mouth. Amen. You won't put his word on your mind. Amen. And you don't make sure that you're doing what he told you to do. Amen. And then you wonder why you don't see success. Yes. Amen. 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 And that like there's a problem with God. Amen. When he done did and is doing what he's going to do in you, but you got to do too. And the doing is more than just praying. Yes, amen. I said more than. More than. Because praying is important. Yes, amen. Somebody give me the time check. 11.54. Ooh. That was 55. Took a minute away. Through you yes. to come in and then get poured out. That's right. You see, 
And so until you understand that, God can't trust you with the blessing. Yeah, that's right. And he got to find somebody else to give the blessing to yeah. that's going to do what he wants them to do. Yeah. All you got to do is look at Matthew 25 at the talents. The one who buried his, he took from him what he had and gave it to somebody who was being productive. Yeah, that's right. And some of y'all can't be blessed because you refuse to be productive. Amen. Yes, that's right. Yes. The first commandment was be fruitful and multiply. Yes. 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 And you want to sit and watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Twirl your thumbs and wait for a check. Right. That ain't God's will. That's right. Amen. But most people also associate that with having babies, which it was weird to me because I heard that. In a Bible study. You can, with, with, yes, yes, it does have something to do with, with having babies. Mm -hmm. But it's not just having babies. Yeah. Because yeah. all through the Bible, God used the same metaphors, yeah. the same word pictures. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And one of them is fruitfulness. Fruitfulness, mm -hmm. that's, that's right. right. And when he talks about fruitfulness later on in the Bible, he lets you know it's not just babies. Yes, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Amen. There's fruit of the spirit. spirit. There's fruit in evangelism, yes. huh? Yes. People are considered fruit, not when you just birth them naturally, yes. but when you disciple them. That's yes. right. Yes. Yes. There's fruitful works and there's dead works. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And so there's works that you can do to serve God that are also fruitful. Yes. And so being fruitful and multiplying is more. It is having babies, but it's more than having babies. Amen. Just like everything in Genesis is in seed. Everything in your whole Bible can be seen in Genesis. But it's all in seed form. That's right. So you don't recognize it. You got to dig real hard and say, oh, there it is. Everything throughout the rest of the Bible is contained in Genesis. Salvation is in Genesis. Sin is in Genesis. Redemption is in Genesis. Uh, 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 the, all the nations are in Genesis. Every nation that ever been on earth is in Genesis. Uh, even telling you what's going to happen in the future is in Genesis. Everything is right there in Genesis from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. But it's in seed form. That's and so right. until you start to unpack it, you don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. So that's why that sometimes get misconstrued and people think that it's only having babies. Only having babies. That's right. Amen. It's more than having babies. Yeah. Being, being truly fruitful is when you find out what God put in you. Yes. The Bible calls the word of God the, the spirit that's in us a seed, a righteous seed. Amen. Amen. Incorruptible. That's right. God. Woo! I'm getting happy because I know some stuff y'all don't know. You see, because because for you got that bad part of you, but you also got this righteous seed. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Woo! And that, that righteous seed is more powerful than that flesh. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And when you learn to tap into the righteous seed, it, it, it subdues, it overwhelms, it keeps under the flesh, you see. And when you operate in that, that's when you walk in the spirit. That's right. And when you walk in the spirit, you can do, you can literally do no wrong. Did you know that? The Bible says against which is no, against such which is no law. There's no law against the stuff you do when you're in the spirit. That's right. That's right. You can literally do no wrong. That's right. Yeah. You can, you can get in a place walking with God where you ain't doing nothing wrong. Amen. That's right. Woo wee! That's right. Thank you, Lord. And you ain't doing nothing wrong. You must be doing everything right. If you're doing everything right, then everything you do is righteous and it'll produce success. Amen. Yes. Yes. See, that's what people don't understand. There's a, there's a direct link between righteousness and success. Amen. Yeah. There is a direct link between righteousness and success. Amen. I got just a few minutes. I'm going to drop some of this on you and we're going to move. You naturally want to be blessed because God designed you to be blessed. You were designed to be a blessed success. Amen. You were designed to be a blessed success. You were designed to be a blessed success. You weren't designed to be nothing less than a blessed success. Amen. Get that out your head. I don't care what mama said. I don't care what auntie and them yes. said. I don't care what your friend said. I don't care what your ex-boyfriend said. I don't care who said what. You were designed to be no less than a blessed success. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Anything else comes from the devil. That's right. Anything else in your mind is not of God. Yes. That's right. Anything else in your yes. mind is That's not right. of God. It's a yes. stronghold built by the 
devil to keep you down and restrict you from being that blessed success. That's right. That's right. But you will not be a blessed success if you don't do it God's way. Now, here's what happens. Oftentimes in life, trouble and suffering the evil of this world, right? The evil of this world causes us to experience what, what one would call less than God's best for our life. That's right. Right? We're unhappy. We don't feel blessed. We don't feel optimized when we experience trouble, when we experience suffering. Okay? Now, there are, and I talked about this just a couple of weeks ago when we was in Job, there are five reasons for suffering. Why is suffering the problem? Suffering is a problem because suffering looks like the opposite of success. And when we suffer, we question whether or not God wants us to be successful. That's right. Yeah. And so suffering messes us up. It, it, it works a number on our minds. And so we have to deal with the suffering in our life. We, and, and people try to explain suffering a whole bunch of different ways. That people say, well, I must have had to go through what I went through. That ain't true. You didn't have to go through all that. Well, I had to go through that to learn. No, that's the way you learned the lesson. That, didn't, that wasn't the only way God had to teach you the lesson. Okay? You didn't have to go through what you went through. But you went through it because of what you chose to go through. That's right. uh, and God was gracious to teach you a lesson in the end. But that don't mean it had to be that way. Right, right, right. You can learn to obey not by suffering. That's true. But by obedience and watching examples that God put around you That's of both right. good and evil. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to suffer to learn obedience. We're just so hard-headed that that's the way we used to learn in it. Yeah. <laughs> you ever have a, a, a bad child? What people call a bad child? <laughs> Look, I used to teach special needs children, okay? All the, all the children ain't nobody want to deal with it was in my classroom. <laughs> All right, kind of remind me of church, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm serious though, and uh, that's why I tell the saints. I say you be careful how you treat people in church, that's right. because you don't know if God sent them there for you yes. to love on them and deal with that's them, right. because nobody else right. will deal with them. Yes. Right. And if you reject them, where that's will they go? That's right. If they can't right. find acceptance and love in the house of God. Then where can they go? That's right. This might be their last stop. Right. Uh -huh. And you looking at them fine. Amen. Right. This might be the this might be the place God sent them because he he wanted to see if you was gonna love. Well, right. Come on. But suffering was a number on our minds. Suffering and trouble presents obstacles to our happiness. But Jesus told us in Matthew, he said, take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient right. until the day is the evil thereof. That's right. Sufficient. sufficient. That word sufficient is a funny word when you listen to with evil because it, 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 it plays into the idea that God has a formula. And he's going to allow a certain amount of evil to work into the formula in order to get something good out of it. Yeah. See, what the devil means for good, God used the same thing. He used the yeah, same yeah. thing that the devil meant for good. I mean, for evil. God would turn around and meet it and work it out. Right. Work it out for good. Yes. Right. He don't have to change it. He don't have to erase That's it. That's right. That's right. It stay right where it was. It's a part of your story, right. Right. but God didn't take it and work it into His form. Yes, He does. Yes, He does. And and He only allows so much of it. Mm. Yes. yes, that's right. Only a sufficient amount. Oh, yes. So that when it come out in the in the end, it's good. Amen. 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 Do you hear me? And so there's a sufficient amount of trouble. That's right. That's a right. sufficient That's amount right. of suffering. Yeah. A sufficient amount of hell you're gonna have to go through. Go yes. In order to get the final result that God wants for you. Yes. Right. Amen. But while you're going through, you got to remember he won't put no more on you than you can bear. So he says it's sufficient and it's no more than you can bear. Yeah, so that right. ought to give somebody some encouragement right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because where the hell you going through, it ain't too much for you. Amen. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, you 
can't you can't stay up in here and not get radically responsible. Yeah. And grow up. Amen. Okay. If you want to be weak, you gotta go somewhere else. Exactly. You gotta go somewhere else if you want to be weak. Amen. Yeah. This because because what I'm gonna tell you to do is 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 take it. Take it. Yes. I'm gonna tell you to bear up under. I'm going to say to carry that load. Carry it, that's right. I'm going to say you're strong enough. Yeah. You're capable. Yeah. You got to be. Yeah. If you ain't capable, God is a liar. That's right. And I know he ain't no liar. Yeah. And you sitting there pole-mouthing like you incapable, so either you lying or God lying. And I don't think God lying. <laughs> so you need to stick your lip back in. Amen. Huh? Wipe your tears, uh -huh. get up, and do the right thing. Yes. 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 Huh? Yes. Get up and do the right thing. We suffer for five different reasons. The number one reason we suffer is sin. The number two reason we suffer is stupidity. The number three reason we suffer, we ain't got no explanation for it, senses. Huh. Yes. Number four reason we suffer is because we were suggested to suffer. Yeah. Just like Job, God's behind the scenes yeah. looking for a way to bless us. That's right. And in order to bless us, he let the enemy come in to oppose us. That's, That's right. right. Because you won't get no stronger if you don't put no more weight on the ball. That's right. Wow. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that's right. Come on. You won't get no stronger if you don't put no more weight on the ball. Do y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. 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 So now Paul learned this fact. He said, you know what? I can figure something out. He said, when I'm weak, I'm strong. That's right. He said, That's I'm right. going to glory in my sufferings. Because right. when I suffer, yes. when I'm weak, yes. when it seems like I'm down out, I notice something. I notice that's when the glory of God come and rest. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 And so I'm going to stop keeping myself in a comfortable position. That's right. I'm going to stop keep staying where I feel like I can handle it. Amen. I'm going to allow God to, to, to launch me out into the deep yes. Yes. so that I get so far out to where he has to save me. That's right. So that I get so far out to where he has to come and do something to help me along. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Do you hear me? Yes. Why? Because he suggested that suffering. Yes. Come on. See, there's some suffering God suggests for your life. Thank some you. people get to... to Rejecting you, some people get to acting crazy around you. Some people notice that you change and they don't accept it. They actually like, well, you acting yeah. funny. Who you think you yeah. is? Yeah. Oh, she yeah. thinks she all that. Now. Yeah. You see, God ordains that. Because the more they reject you, the more you cleave to him. Amen. God will make your spouse reject you. Amen. God will allow your spouse to reject you Amen. so that you can cleave to him because he's jealous for you. Yes, he That's right. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. He will cause your spouse to, to, be, to make you feel all dissatisfied and rejected and, and lonely in your marriage. Come on. Amen. And you ain't did that wrong. And the spouse just going on with business as usual. And they seem like they all right, but you ain't all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you longing on the inside for connection. Yes. You feel yeah. like something's missing, and then, yes. and then you you try to start the sparks back with them, and maybe some sparks fly, but it still don't satisfy. Because right. God will stir something up. Because yeah. he, he's like you looking in all the wrong places. You got to be asking all the wrong places. Hallelujah. He's jealous for you. Huh? And he won't have anything be an idol in your life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Help me, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Some, some suffering is with sin. Some suffering is with stupidity. Some suffering is senseless. Some suffering is suggested. Some suffering is sacrificial. We sacrifice ourselves sometimes. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay? Amen. But now the sin I want to deal with. I mean, I'm sorry, the suffering I want to deal with is the suffering as a result of sin. Because that's what he was dealing with with lamentations. The Lord allows judgment to come as a result of sin. Sin is an ill-advised attempt to bless yourself. Most suffering can be sidestepped. Because most suffering is the result of sin. 
Amen. Most suffering can be avoided. Most of the suffering that we experience can be avoided. Now, there's suffering you can't be avoided. I just listed four other ways of suffering that can't be avoided, right? But, but some suffering can be avoided. A whole lot of Jerusalem did not have to fall. For 40 years, Jeremiah was prophesying to them, and there was prophets before them telling them to repent. Yes. yes. Then, after they went so long, he stopped saying repent, and he said submit. Some of y'all, some of y'all, you didn't repent when you were supposed to. So now it's time to submit. Yeah. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. You see, see, we ain't careful. We don't repent, and then judgment come. Then we get mad about the judgment. Right. Yes. 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 But what you got to learn and say is, Lord, you are righteous. Yes. Amen. And I deserve this judgment. Yeah. Right. Thank God for the judgment because you're righteous, yes. and you just help me suffer right. Yes. Amen. You help me live right in the midst of this judgment that you yes. that you done proclaimed upon me. Y'all don't want to hear this, do you? Yes. I'm just telling you how it is. Now this is how it is. This is all up in your Bible. God told them you had you didn't repent when you're supposed to. Now you cannot avoid the judgment. There comes a time when you can't avoid it. And he said, now I'm going to let this happen, but I want you to keep a good attitude while you're going through it. Time check me somebody. 
12, 18. 12, 18. I'm closing. I got 12 minutes. Sin is not your friend. The first time we see sin is in Genesis. When God tells them that if they sin, they shall surely die. Next time we see sin is still in Genesis where God tells Cain, he said, boy, what's wrong with your face? Why has your continence failed? He said, if you do right, he said, if thou doest well, will you not be saved? Y'all see that? In other words, if you obey, you will bless yourself. Yes. And if you sit there sulking and mad, sin is going to overtake you here in a minute. Yes. Yes. The Bible says sin crouches at the door and it's the, it desires to have you. Right. It's like a crouching lion or a crouching tiger rather. And it wants to pounce on you. It says, but you shall rule over it. It didn't say it was going nowhere. That's right. It didn't say it was going nowhere. Yeah. That's right. Here's the problem with baby Christians. This was my experience. I thought the sin was supposed to go away. Uh, I thought the desire was supposed to just go. Yeah. I thought the temptation was supposed to just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> leave me alone, temptation. Leave me alone, devil. <laughs> I can't take it. Take it away, God. <laughs> He made me stand up. Yes. I'll never forget I was a little boy. <coughs> Only time I got beat up, really, which is a surprise, was by a little red-haired white girl. <laughs> I'm going to give this and I'm going to go. <laughs> this little red-haired white girl had a little sister. And me and the sister were friends, but then we got into it one day, and the big sister was red. She, she seen us arguing about something. She took it upon herself to just take vengeance. <laughs> Boy, she beat me up and got me on the ground and was, woo! <laughs> Had a little afro, she grabbed me by my little afro and was, <laughs> 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 And my mama came out the door. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the fun thing about it was, my mama didn't break it up. <laughs> she made it so that the girl couldn't hurt me. Okay. But she didn't stop the fight. <laughs> Another time, we were still in Charleston, and she, she looked out the window see me playing, and somebody pushed me down, and I was pretty easy going. I just got up and dusted off and went about my business. She called me in the house. She said, boy, come here. <laughs> she looked all crazy. <laughs> Go in the house. She said, don't you ever. Boy, she twisted up her face. Don't you ever let nobody push you down like that again if you don't yes. fight them back. That's right. She yeah. said, if you can't beat them, you pick something up. <laughs> she said, but if you, you, she said, you go back out there and you let them know that they can't do that to you no more. And if you don't, then you're going to have to deal with me. Yes. And I had to make a choice right there. That's right. Was I more scared of them or was I more scared of my mom? And I realized I was more scared of my mom. So I went to the doctor. And I don't remember what happened afterwards. Some kind of way it worked out. But I went out and I fought. That's right. And been fighting ever since. But somehow when I got saved, I forgot that fighting was part of life. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And when the devil came against me and pushed me down, That's right. I cowered in the corner instead of getting back up. That's right. Until daddy called me in the house one day. Hey, right. And said, don't you let nobody push you down. That disgrace your dad. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. When you wrestle with some devils for real now, you, yeah. that devil will have you doing things and you won't get no relief until you do what the devil wants you to do. Yeah. And it ain't even you no more. The devil yeah. making you do it. And it, he really is making you do it. Yeah. And he's threatening you and you feel like you're going to die or something if you don't do what the devil wants you to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, you know, and it's a disgrace to your father. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Amen. 
And so you got you got to say, you know what? I'm not gonna disgrace my daddy like this. That's right. Come I'm on. gonna fight the devil. Fight yes. the devil. Yes. That's right. Yes. And the number one way to fight on. the devil is with the word, word of God. Yes. 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 Now, the word of God by itself ain't all you got. No. Mm -hmm. Who had that scripture memorized about the full arm of God? Mm. That's right. Nobody had that? Yeah. Unless somebody yeah. had it. You had it? Ephesians what? Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, right? Yeah. Right? Okay, but we'll, we'll get to that another time. Go back and look at it. One of the things that God gives you to protect your heart, this protects your heart. This protects your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Think about it. Your heart. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, right. Are you sure? Right. 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 Your righteousness is Christ. Yes, it's Your righteousness is Jesus Christ. Let me tell you well, something. Yeah. There's two types yeah. of righteousness. There is, and, and you, you learn this in seminary. There's imputed righteousness, mm -hmm. right? And then there's righteousness indeed. Imputed righteousness is the righteousness you have from Jesus Christ as a recipient of salvation. That's you right. have, his, have his imputed righteousness. Mm -hmm. You've exchanged your unrighteousness for his righteousness. Right. He That's became right. sin for us who knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Okay, that is imputed righteousness. That's right. But when the adversary come against you, the accuser of the brethren, he don't challenge your imputed righteousness. He challenges oh, right. your real right. yes. righteousness yes. Yes. or your righteousness indeed. Yeah. And so he starts to point out what you really did last night. Yeah. He starts to point out what you're really thinking today about the, the brother or sister beside you right. that you shouldn't be thinking.